Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be showing you a quick and easy way of how to send and receive files using WeTransfer or TransferNow. Unlike other sites where you have to go through a long sign up process and sometimes a confusing user interface, WeTransfer and TransferNow gives you a simple drag and drop. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to do here is type in wetransfer.com in the search bar. Then we are going to go to wetransfer. As you can see, welcome to wetransfer. We're going to agree to the terms and condition. Click I agree. That's pretty much a basic layout for you to send and receive files. Up top you have your add your folder, add your file, sorry, and you can email or you can send a message as well. And to my top right you have your sign up and login. That's just for additional features. We are going to type the email address of the person you are emailing the file or the folder and then we are going to go down to your email and type in your email address. So we're going to drag the file over and drop it like it's hot, LOL. <laughs> and there you have it. You, your folder is now attached and it's ready to be transferred. Uh, just making sure that everything is okay. And then you click transfer. now going to ask us to verify our email address so it's going to send us a verification code for us to enter so we're going to go over to our email address now well my email address <laughs> and copy the code We're going to take this code you see right here we're now going to go over enter it and then click verify and also for the sake of time we're just going to fast track with the video so eventually uh. that's it guys they're all complete the email was sent and you have your transfer details 479 files 1.5 gigs and it expired in a week and you can go over to your email and you can check so that's it right here and you have your download link now that we've completed we transfer we're going to move on to transfer now in this section you have your add file and folder and you can also send up to four gigs of data we are now going to move down to your contacts email just to let you know you can add more than one emails 
to your contact so I'm going to add another email address to give you an example transfer now also gives you some additional features where you can just to protect your file you can enter a password right here you can set your expiry date so you can you can actually set the date for when your file expires that's an interesting feature and this one allows you to disable or enable your notification the one beside that set the maximum number of downloads but you would have to be a premium user for that one so no we can't use that one and you can also disable your preview that's pretty much it guys look out for more videos and remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching how to send and receive files using we transfer or transfer no it's a bit more convenient Ugh. welcome back guys to another dire dynamics video um this is been looking to my eyes i'll be able to see it just want to see how far